please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, editor here with today's video, hydro locking forks. What is hydro locking? Well, here's a nice definition from dictionary somewhere. Hydro lock, short for hydrostatic lock, is an abnormal condition where a volume of liquid is greater than the volume of the cylinder at its minimum stroke. In our case, it's gonna be the fork stroke. Hydrostatic lock is most commonly referred to in the context of engine cylinders full of water. Somehow water gets into the engine cylinder and the piston, which is normally going up to compress air, right at the top of the stroke, ready to fire, it rises up and then smack, hits the water. Because it, it can't compress water, right? Only gas can compress, liquids don't compress hardly at all. The results are rather unfortunate. With motorcycle forks, we can also encounter hydrostatic lock. Somehow, in servicing, whether someone does it themselves or has a shop do it, a brain fart occurs or some miscalculation or some misjudgment, and they put too much fork oil in the forks. And the fork can then not go through its full range of motion. It locks on that fluid. I'm gonna do a little experiment here to demonstrate that. Gonna go all Bill Nye on you. And before Bill Nye, there was Mr. Wizard. So this is gonna be our fork right here. Pretend that it's a telescopic fork instead of an upside down fork because that way the liquid will stay because I don't have fork seals. Telescopic fork. As the fork compresses down, it can go with this much fork fluid all the way to the bottom and hit bottom out right there. And there's still plenty of air gap or air spring left, depending on that gap right there, depends on how much air is compressed, and that's your air spring, and you can play with that. Dave has a video on that. What happens with hydro lock is that there's no air gap left. When there's too much fork oil, as the fork compresses and goes down, 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 the air spring gets squished and squished and squished and squished until there's no more air spring. It's compressed it to the point where it won't compress anymore, and still the fork hasn't reached bottom out. It could still go down to bottom out, mechanical bottom out, but it can't get there because it can't squeeze liquid. It can only squeeze gas. This is hydrostatic lock or hydrolocking, where you filled up all the space with a fluid and still you could go further, but you don't. So you'll see Dave push on one of these bikes that has hydrolock, and before he can get even very far through the stroke, much less close to bottom out, the fork gets down, hits that fluid level, because there's too much in there, boom, and stops. It won't compress anymore, because all the air gap is gone. Now don't be deterred from doing your own fork oil change. This should not frighten you in any way, shape, or form. We have videos about that, both freemium and premium. So watch those to your heart's content. You can do it. Even I have done it successfully. Gentlemen. Hey, Dave. Uh, I'm not getting enough travel out of my fork. I just had them serviced. Okay. Um, so I don't know if my preload's real stiff. Um, I so, backed it off to about seven turns, six and a half, seven turns, but still. Okay, so do you know how much oil was used in the fork service? So do you get the details? The oil height was set at 110? I think so, yeah. Okay, grab your gloves. So if the oil height is too high, you'll hit a hydraulic wall. Just grab them, get them out of the way, because oh, I don't yeah. want them to fall off. So if this goes down, and then picks the rear wheel up, then there's too much oil in it. Okay. If it doesn't and it compresses and comes back, then you could basically take all the preload out and see what you get next. Now, that's not overfilled with oil at all. Okay. So if, you, if you're too stiff, then there's too much preload. Okay. So back it out. All right. And now let's check rebound. Oh, it's full of oil. Hydrolock. Yeah. Watch your rear wheel. Oh yeah. So, it's full of oil. That's why. Okay. Okay. Well, now 
So all the settings are right where they should be in range. So a very good job, but probably somewhere in the region of at least 100 cc's too much oil. All right, so I just need to dump the oil out of it and measure the proper amount in there? So it'll give you in volume? Yes, sir. So the volume means that it's bone dry. So you've got to match what you're getting out and compare that to the book, but you won't have everything out unless you're meticulous. So I'm taking you don't have special tools to pull the caps off and do all that. No. All right. So at that point, you drain each leg. Now you've got to pump the cap to empty the inner cylinder. Okay. When there's no oil in the inner cylinder, it'll go douche, douche, boing, because there's no hydraulic resistance left to let it drain again. Okay. That will get you 95% of the oil out. What have I got? What does the book say? Oh, so put in what the book says and then it'll go straight through its travel. So you, it's not the worst one yeah. I've seen um, simply because we had one that was so full of oil when I opened the cap and just pulled it down a tiny bit and poured oil. It was literally full to the top. So. <laughs> In this case, that's a real simple, that's why this is happening. Okay. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.